Hi YouTubers, Eclectic Will here. Um, I'm filming this on the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July. I hope you all had a safe holiday and um, ate a lot of hamburgers and potato salad. Um, you won't see this until after 4th of July, a few days after. So um, I have kind of a lot of stuff. <laughs> So I might do this in two parts so you're not like sitting there forever watching. Um, I'll just go along and see how it goes. I have my flag. Um, we're uh, grateful for this country and um, our land of the free. And um, we thank all the veterans for serving and um, Okay, so I um, went to Goodwill. Um, I don't normally go there too much because um, it's expensive. I mean, it used to be where you could go to Goodwill and get really good prices, but it's expensive there. But I did go um, and I found this very pretty ornate um beautifully hand painted um box it's a russian music box and uh you can see inside um there and it's the nutcracker and it plays the nutcracker um and it says, um, let's see, 1991 Ardley Elliot and Sons. And then there's um, a bunch of writing on the bottom in Russian, but um, it, it has all like scenes from like, you know, Nutcracker and it's really pretty, really pretty. So some of these sold, I saw one sold for, uh, I think it was 45, one sold for 25. So um, then some were really low. Sometimes I find that when you do a buy it now, you get more money than sometimes when you do an auction, in my experience anyway, or just looking at comps. So right now I just have this on a buy it now. I bought this for $2.98. So we'll see what happens. Then I got this um, real ornate um, candle holder. Um, I did some research. So these are the Ten Commandments, I believe. And um, it's got a lot of enamel work in there. And it's a candle holder. It says Shalom in the back. Um, it's really pretty. It says... Uh, Let's see. Hen. Hen Holon Israel. I bought that for, I paid up for that, $4.98. But, you know, I saw um, more ornate pieces or pieces like this go for like um, $30 or $40. It all depends on the piece. So we'll see what happens with that. Then I went to um, another thrift shop and I came across, they were having 50% off of clothes. So um, on their boutique rack, I came across this, it's got sparkles on it. <laughs> I came across this uh, beach house um, skirt swimwear. Uh, size 8 it sold for 49 then it went down to 36 wherever it first sold and then um, but I purchased it it was four and I got it for two dollars because it was uh, you know 50% off I found these pretty scarves 
This one says Jesus with a crown. This one says, I heart Jesus. I love Jesus. They're really pretty scarves. Um, I found some comps on these. Um, for I bought them for a dollar a piece. And um, maybe I'll sell them for, I don't know, 10 to 15. There were some that sold for a little more. But we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. I bought this musical chicken. The other one, remember, I had another one. And um, this one's the Halloween one. And I got him for a dollar. The other one I sold for, uh, I think it was 22 um, So that guy. Um, then I went to another thrift shop and I was looking in the bookcase and these were hidden in there. These are, um, photographs of the Duke. That's John Wayne. My father loved John Wayne. And this was, uh, Natalie Wood. There's one she's younger. Here's one she's bit older and then there's another one in here um, she's in uh, her underwear I'm not going to show the whole thing but another one um, so I purchased these for I think they were um, two dollars a piece this was two for three I guess they didn't know that other one was hidden back there but I think they're, I only paid like a, a dollar a piece for those. I also found this musical angel. It's, uh, let's see. It plays Silent Night. And it's gore hand made in Japan. But I'm going to keep her because I collect angels. Vintage angels um she plays silent night and spins so i'm gonna keep her um then i went to another thrift shop and in there they have little drawers with various things and i found this kathy van zeeland key fob um I also bought um, some vintage scarves. So I'll tell you the story. I got this key fob. I bought this vintage bandana. And the ones with the trunk, see the elephant, those are collectible. Um, this is 100% cotton. It's the Paisley design. I mean, other designs sell too, but Paisley's um, popular. And then I found 12 other bandanas. They didn't have the elephant, but they just said color fast or fast color. And there's about 12 of them and they were red with all clovers. Um, so I listed all the 12 together and that same day they sold for $74. <laughs> I know it was crazy but that was very exciting sale so look out for these but I was lucky enough to find them just in a bunch in the bins down below I get down there and I dig and I open drawers I I don't think those drawers were open in a while they had all scarves in there so um yeah so that was a great sale um then I went to another thrift shop. Oh, by the way, all those scarves and the key fob only cost me three dollars. Um, I put this cover down because it's like me using it. Um, this is my lounging chair my Bassett lounging chair and it's getting kind of stained up so I gotta clean it from just 
piling stuff on here. This is a good spot because it's near my window. I use my lights here. So I found um, a bag of toys. The bag was uh, $2, but this is uh, a family for like a dollhouse. And um, they're the loving family from Mattel. And I think it was um, um, 2006, I think, is on here. I also found some smaller JPI dolls. They're like, they look like little Barbie dolls. They're really small. Um, I'm trying to look for the date on here. Hold on. Yeah, 2006. So, I mean, I've seen comps, um, sold comps. Um, these sold for $25 to $35. Um, there's the mom and the dad, the grandma. He's a little too young to be the husband. I don't know. They might be together. She could be like a cougar. I don't know. <laughs> here's the little girl, and here's another um, woman. Um, they have little babies. They have grandpas. But, um, so I put these all in a lot together. And this was in a bag with those JPI dolls. Um, I can't put my hands on them at the moment, but they were all in a bag for $2. And at this other store, or the same store, I was going through all the sewing Oh my god that's really weird all right i just found something out but i'll tell you in a minute um so at this same store i found this bag of uh girl scout new badges for two bucks and there's like i don't know like 30. there's my dad's in the military um nature center Best troop ever. Happy birthday, Girl Scouts. Pajama party. So there's all these um, that I found for $2 brand new. So these are all different prices. It depends on uh, how many you have um, is what you're going to sell them for. But um, $2 for all those patches, that's a great deal. Because my son, who was a Eagle Scout, was in the Boy Scouts and uh, you know some of those patches over time could really add up and I just noticed on the back doesn't that look like Lily my name is Lillian after my grandma but some most people call me Lil or Lily I spell it L-I-L-L-Y doesn't that look like Lily that's kind of weird L-I-L-L -L, like with a Y I swear I did not write that on there that's very strange. I never noticed that before. Ooh, I don't know. All right, so anyway. So at that same place, um, I um, found some uh, DVDs. I don't pay more than a dollar for DVDs. I pay like 50 cents to a dollar. These are sealed. And if you could find some... Uh, like workout videos, especially if they're new, um, you know, they're selling. Look it up and see. There's a lot of um, workout videos that are selling. Luckily, I found two of the same Power 90. Um, this is the Fat Burning Express, and this is includes Phase 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. But So I'm selling them together, and I bought them for a dollar a piece. And... Uh, these are selling anywhere from 15 to 30, depends on how many you have. But these seem to be the two most popular ones of this um, particular guy. Um, his name's Tony. Tony! So, um, it's Beachbody. Oh, I should have put that in. I'm going to add that to my uh, listing. Uh, Beachbody. So I got those, and then I bought the upper body firm parts. Um, the VHSs were 50 cents. This was new. Um, 
So yeah, check those out. Um, okay, so then I, oh, so while I was there, I um, found a, a tree. It was a wire tree, and, and then it was sitting on a piece of round wood and dangling from it. Um, I think I showed you in my What Sold for June. Um, and that I put in whimsical fun folk art and it was dangling a uh, blowfish and um, flying pigs and uh, hummingbirds and I bought it for two and I sold it the same day for 35 plus shipping so uh, people like that kind of cool different artsy stuff so that was a good day um, all right so then uh, we found this new thrift shop didn't even know really that it was there um, they were kind of asking us advice on uh, certain things where to sell stuff and like you know um, like uh, different selling platforms and what have you and her purses were two dollars each and I found this really cool 100% cotton purse isn't that really cool? I thought that was so nice. And it's, uh, here's the inside. And it's by, it's 100% cotton made in India, but it's the El Paso um, Saddle Blanket Company. And some of their purses go for, you know, pretty good. And this is like new. So that was $2.00. And then I found another one. This is a big Buddha. Um, big Buddha. And um, it's got the chain handle, um, the magnetic snap there. Is it magnetic? Why isn't it closing? All right, that might be something I gotta look into. But it's got a center zipper and um, really sparkly. This looks like new too, so that was $2. Their purses, uh, certain ones are going pretty well. And then I found a Redhead children's overalls. Aren't they cute? Uh, um, let's see. I don't know if I put these on my boy, but, um, well, he's, he's going to be 21 on Monday. And, um, so we're going to go out and have a nice dinner and a drink. And then he and I are going away for a three day trip together. Um, so that'll be very nice. And, but, uh, let's see, this is hot. Hold on. It says, I'm trying to look at the pattern, and it's kind of, there's a pattern name to this, and I can't really, real tree, um, but it's for a little one. They look brand new. Um, it's, oh, here it is, hardwoods. This pattern's called hardwoods. They look brand new. I got those for a dollar and they're redhead brand. Um, so maybe they'll go for like 11 plus shipping or something. Um, okay. So I don't know how long it's been. Maybe I should end the video here. Um, let me end the well, let me show you a couple more things and then I'll end the video and do part two. So, then I went to another uh, thrift shop and on their bookcase, they had all these uh, puzzle books and they're from 2006, 7, 8, um, 11, uh, and 12. 
and they were Penny Press and Dell, and they're puzzle books. Never used, new, new old stock. So they were quarter piece. So I bought basically all of them. I bought like 10, 20, I bought like 34. I did leave like three or four there because they were written in and then they had smaller ones. And um, so these are selling and I'm selling them and I have them in three lots. And so I went up to the <laughs> register and the lady goes, oh my gosh, there's another customer. She was so mad that you were buying them all. <laughs> I said, what? I said, they were for sale. I said, there's some still on the shelf. She goes, I know. I'm like, oh, well, the early bird catches the worm. But I did leave some on the shelf. So it wasn't, you know, I didn't snatch them all up and not leave anybody any, but you know, hey, if you're the first one there and they're for sale, so quarter piece. So I got like three lots of, I think it's, uh, each lot has 11 or 12 each. Um, so they're normally $4 a piece. So I think I have it down for 30, something like that for each lot. Somebody sold, I think it was 40 of them or something, 35, 40 for 125. So like I said, they're $4 a piece retail. Um, so these aren't all of them. I didn't, I have two other bags over there, but so that was cool. And all right. So same last winter scene. Oh yeah. Let me show you this. Um, I got this, oops, glass masters. Uh, creators of fine stained glass art made in the United States of America. Um, it's kind of a pain to get it out, but I'll just take it out. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, some of the pieces are going for like, it's all 30, 40, 50. It all depends on the scene and people's preference. But it's not pretty winter scene in the, um, sled and the the horse drawn carriage and the barns I love scenes with barns and I have some hanging up in my house but anyway so I got that for two and uh, we'll see what happens with that all right guys um, so stay tuned for part two and I'll see you soon Ciao.